Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this Hearthstone Mercenaries Bounty Guide, I'm going to take a look at Veilastras in Blackrock Mountain to unlock murky equipment. Veilastras is an old bounty, but murky equipment was added to this bounty. So my previous guides on Veilastras have been six-man teams, but now basically we're doing a five-man team so that we can carry murky through this as well. And in this video, I have both the full cost solution and a budget solution for this heroic bounty. So, in the Veilastras fight, you're going to fight against Veilastras. Red, at the end of each turn, deal 35 damage to all enemies, so that's quite some hefty AoE. Veilastras does buff your minions somewhat, and also gives you more healing when your minions are being healed. But Veilastras also has some nasty abilities. On turn 2, he's going to give highest health mercenary burning adrenaline, which is going to double their damage for the next turn and then kill them. And then Veilastras also has an ability to deal damage to the left and right most minions, and then prevent them from dealing damage from there, and that's a 4 speed ability. So you want the target of the Burning Adrenaline to be in the middle of your team, so that that will be able to deal damage. Veilastras is also protected by Defending Drake, and it has the new Improved Backlash ability now, so that's the main target in this fight. And then there's also a Subjugated Drake that deals some shadow damage, but that's largely inconsequential. If you have a good selection of mercenaries, the Veilastras heroic is very simple. It's just Nature Squad. Malfurion with Life Root Staff, Rukan with Lightning Rod, and Guff with Prembleton Totem. And basically you don't necessarily need anything else than these, but I am running with Kooki with Appetizers for that extra health, because why not? And I also have Cheesy as a backup, Blue Caster, that's good. And of course there's Murgy just sitting on the bench. A five-man budget team for Veilastras is considerably more challenging. I'm using Cariel with Tome of Light, Rukan with Lightning Rod, Guff with Brambleton Totem, Kuki with Appetizers, and Milhouse with Mana Rod. And then there's Murky just sitting on the bench. Cariel, Brukan, Guff, sometimes in some fights Kuki, Brukan, Guff should be able to get through the climb. It's not always easy, but Cariel having Tome of Light really helps, because Cariel, then you taunt it up on turn 1, and on turn 2, if there's some green opponents like Firesworn, Cariel can already attack into them, and that can really help you get those Firesworn down quickly. Whereas in the Veilas Trust fight, you're opening Kuki, Brukan, Guff, Brukan in the middle, and then Cariel is just pretty useless in that one. Anyway, this is what the Veilas Trust fight looks like. In action! Alright, let's take this Veilas Trust down. I sadly picked up a Caster Boon on my way here, which actually is bad for me, because now my combo is out of sync. But we'll work, we'll work with it. It's going to be fine. First taking down that one, because the improved Trigor ability. It's really going to deal so much damage. That would be very unpleasant. And once that one is down, now we can get to work on the Veilastras. I can also start shooting lightning bolts because Living Bramble's going in. And uh, Brukan is going to die next turn. Unless I set it up so that Guff will die next turn. It can be Brukan, it's fine. Just the Svail is starting to, starting to feel the pain. Oh boy. Pa pow. Yep, it's gonna be Vulcan. Fine, fine. A little bit of a slow scenario surge, that's okay. Hmm, except that this is now happening first, so I can't actually. Well, I still want the improved speed. And I want the chain lightning. Then the brambles. Chain lightning is zero speed here, so yeah. Works works well with the brambles now. <laughs> we got the chain lightning. Just look at it go. Yeah. Nature. Nature squad just handles this really very simple fight for this specific squad. Thirteen health left. 
Yeah, that 13 health is not going to save you, Vale. But ow. And murky equipment unlocked. Okay, Vale has trust with the budget team. So, Rukhan in the middle, highest health minion in the middle, so that it will be able to shoot when it gets hit by burning adrenaline. This time I unfortunately have Tempest Fury, which is actually not good in this one, because I can't use the lightning bolt on turn one. If I use the lightning bolt and it doubles up and I take so much damage from that. So, this backlash, this upgraded backlash is just, it's painful here. So I have to avoid avoid getting hit by that one. But after that I can start focusing down the Veil Astras. We do some fish feasting and now I can do lightning bolt and brambles. The fish feast speed is 3 at the moment so that's still acceptable. I will still be able to combo here. So, so far so good. Rukan, the highest health minion, is going to be targeted by Velastras for the burning adrenaline. And Rukan being in the middle means that Rukan is not going to be hit by... Ooh. Usually at this point, it's the one that prevents action, but this time attack all enemies who have already acted. So a little bit different this time. I will probably want Kuki to be attacked. Why not? Why not? Because I really want to get the Chain Lightning here. Chain Lightning and... I will take my chances with the Brambles. We'll see how it goes. Right? This time we'll end up being attacked, so... Unfortunately, this first board is just going to get wiped here. But on the bright side, this Chain Lightning is also going to kill the Illustras. And once Veilus Truss is down, well... Wow. Alright. Yeah, got it done. Good. Millhouse Menace Storm. And... Pow pow. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and check out my Twitch channel.